The next stop on the road to professional food preparation, portion control. Using proper portion control provides the correct serving size to meet the nutritional needs of children and assures that the USDA meal pattern requirements are met. Proper portion control guides the ordering and preparing of food, serving a consistent yield and portion size. Customer satisfaction increases when students receive equal food portions. When and how do we portion food? Some methods for portioning menu items for serving are cutting, measuring, weighing, and counting. Cutting diagrams for portioning are available to demonstrate shapes of squares, fingers, or wedges, giving consistent size and number of portions per pan. Cutting or dividing food into uniform servings takes place before the food is placed on the serving line. For example, cornbread, lasagna, pizza, sheet cakes, and brownies are cut before the pans are placed on the line. Standardized recipe directions will state the pan size, panning procedures, and portioning directions. For control, use scoops or dishers, ladles, and portion servers serving portion utensils that are volume standardized. Be sure to check the portion size on the recipe and select the scoop, portion server, or ladle that will yield the correct portion size. Scoops, also called dishers, come in many sizes. Scoops may be left or right hand, or a squeeze type that can be used by either hand. The number on the scoop indicates how many level scoopfuls make one quart. For example, it takes eight scoopfuls with the number eight scoop to make one quart. The number eight scoop holds one-half cups, and eight one-half cups equal one quart. To scoop correctly, use the scoop size specified in the standardized recipe. Fill the scoop to the top, then level it. Ladles and portion servers are labeled by number of ounces they hold. Fluid ounce would be more accurate since they measure volume, not weight. The size is usually listed on the ladle handle just above the bowl. Use a ladle to serve liquid foods such as stews, soups, sauces, gravies, and other liquid products. To use a ladle correctly, use the specified size, fill the ladle to the top, but not overflowing. Use portion servers, solid or perforated, for portioning solids and semi-solids such as fruits and vegetables and condiments. Serving or cooking spoons are not volume standardized measures and are not accurate for measuring. They can be solid, slotted, or perforated, and they vary in length for ease of use. Some have plastic handles that are heat resistant, and some are specially shaped to aid in serving. Try to get the same amount of food in the spoon every time. Keep a sample portion close by for reference as a serving size. Weighing and counting are also used to portion food for the serving line. A portion scale is used for determining or testing portion sizes by weight. Meats and cheeses are usually portioned this way. Since each portion is not weighed, do a spot check periodically. Counting is used to determine portions of food such as meat patties, fresh fruits, chicken nuggets, fish sticks, biscuits, and rolls. The pan or serving container on the serving line is another tool to aid portioning. The steam table pan capacity chart shows the approximate capacity and volume measure of common sizes of steam table pans and the approximate number of servings that can be obtained from various sizes of portioning utensils. Use the chart as a guide to help estimate the number of steam table pans needed for the serving period and to approximate the yield of a full steam table pan. What happens to cost when we serve food portions larger than the recipe specifies? Let's look at an example. Beef Taco Recipe D13. Two tacos provide two ounces meat and meat alternate equivalent. The recipe indicates that each taco should be filled using a number 30 scoop, which yields two tablespoons of meat mixture, a total of four tablespoons for two tacos. The employee picked up a number 16 scoop, which yields one fourth cups, twice the amount of meat. Using the number 16 scoop gives one half cup meat for two tacos, not one fourth cup of meat as called for in the recipe. For one day, serving one half cup instead of one fourth cup of ground beef doubled the cost of each serving. If a pound of purchased ground beef costs $2, and if 600 customers are over served, it would double the cost for the day by $306. If that happened for the entire school year of 180 days, the cost would be increased by $55,080. Team members must understand that portion control is essential in managing food cost and minimizing food waste. 
and portion control requires teamwork. Select the method of portion control that fits the operation, menu items, and serving style. It's the way to ensure that each customer receives the same size portion, costs are managed, and nutritional needs are met.